Hi everyone, welcome back to SG Doctor Wellness. My name is Dr. Chen Yi Ming. Today I'm going to talk about a very common shoulder condition known as frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis. If you have shoulder pain or stiffness or inability to move your shoulder as much as before, you may actually be suffering from this condition. What causes it and how can we treat it? Please watch till the end of the video. If you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe and notification button now. Our shoulder joint is a very flexible joint. The humerus bones articulates with the shoulder blade bone, and this is surrounded by a tough connective tissue known as the capsule, which is filled up with a lubricating fluid known as synovial fluid. Frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis occurs when the capsule thickens and contracts after a period of inflammation or immobility with a reduction in the lubricating synovial fluid. This then results in pain and reduction in the range of motion of the shoulder joint. So what are the causes of this condition? Diabetes. We know that diabetics has a higher tendency to develop frozen shoulder, likely due to inflammation. The exact mechanism is still not clear. Shoulder immobilization. When the shoulder has been immobilized due to various reasons like fracture of the shoulder joint, rotator cuff tendinitis, and when inadequate post-fracture or post-tendinitis physiotherapy and mobilization has been done, there is a very, very high tendency for frozen shoulder to occur. Age. In my practice, I see that frozen shoulder usually occurs in adults age 40 to 65, and I rarely see this condition in young adults. Other medical conditions like thyroid disorders and Parkinson's disease. Idiopathic. Sometimes we don't really know why it occurs. It just happens. The hallmark of frozen shoulder would be pain and stiffness of the shoulder joint, reduction in the range of motion of the joint in all directions, fear of moving the shoulder joint due to the pain resulting in a worsening in stiffness. The frozen shoulder typically develops in three stages. First is the freezing stage. In this stage, the patient feels the most pain and discomfort. As the pain worsens, the shoulder becomes more and more stiff with loss of range of motion. Secondly, is the frozen stage. In the frozen stage, the pain actually reduces, but the stiffness remains and the loss of mobility remains. And finally, the thawing stage. Shoulder motion slowly improves due to thawing of the capsule, close to normal range of motion returns. The period from the freezing stage to the thawing stage may take up to two to three years for recovery. Now that's a long time for you to get back your shoulder joint mobility, isn't it? Now when I see a patient with symptoms of frozen shoulder, I typically will order an x-ray of the shoulder joint just to exclude any other bony issues like osteoarthritis of the shoulder joint and sometimes we may even uncover a fracture. In some cases, MRI may also be indicated if you suspect rotator cuff tears or ligamental impingement syndromes or even shoulder capsular tears. The good news is that most of the patients suffering from frozen shoulder can recover without any surgery. And the modalities of treatment includes pain and anti-inflammatory medications. These medications can be given in an acute painful stage to reduce the pain and the inflammation so that the patient can resume early mobility to reduce the freezing and frozen stage. Steroid shoulder injections. Similarly, steroids can be injected directly into the capsule to reduce the inflammation within the capsule and to stretch the capsule out using the fluid from the medications. Three, the mainstay of treatment will need to come from the patient themselves by putting in effort into stretching and physical therapies. Now, Alvin will proceed to show you some of the stretching exercises and physical therapy that will help you manage the pain and stiffness and to bring, out, bring you out of the toying stage fast. Today, everybody, today I will introduce some exercises to help manage the pain from frozen shoulders. Right, so for the first exercise, take a seat with a backrest, put one hand over the backrest for support. Keep your arms straight and your back straight as well. Don't round off your back. Dangle the injured shoulder over the ground like so. Right, make sure that it's fully dangled. 
and turn clockwise or anti-clockwise in this fashion for about 10 to 20 rotations. After you're done with one direction, you can switch over to the next direction and similarly carry out this rotation for about 10 to 20 rotations. As your condition improves, you can actually make bigger circles like so in both directions. The next exercise will be what we know as the shoulder stretch. Place the arm of the injured shoulder over your chest like so and use the other arm and gently press it towards your chest. Feel the stretch over your shoulder. Keep your arm straight and hold it there for about 10 to 20 seconds. The next exercise is what we call the finger walk. So face the wall and take the arm of your injured shoulder, bend it into a V formation and place two fingers on the wall, like so. Walk your fingers up the wall and raise your arm as high as you can as you walk up the wall. Okay, once you have stretched out to your maximum, if it's very painful, use the good arm and bring down for another set. Like so. So there you go. Thanks, Alvin. We hope that this video can help you in journey and managing frozen shoulder. Do not give up. Please consult your doctors when you are having issues during the treatment of your shoulder. The more you move the shoulder, the faster is the road to recovery. Do like and share this video if you found it useful. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. Till the next time, stay safe, stay healthy.